It was a common practice among monks and nuns in medieval times to keep human skulls on their desks. It was a somewhat morbid tradition, but the message was not to say, you will die soon, but rather, this life will pass, think about heaven. This had to be the thought of St. Francis Borgia when he saw the remains of the Empress Isabella. When he looked upon what was left of her, he realized how temporary this life really is and firmly decided on working to build the kingdom yet to come. For this reason, St. Francis Borgia is often depicted as holding a skull with a crown on it. St. Francis Borgia became a Spanish duke in his early 30s. He lived happily with his wife and his children. When tragedy struck, he lost his wife, gave up his life as a nobleman to become a Jesuit priest. This was a shock to many around him. He went from a life of luxury and comfort to one of poverty and humility. He wanted to live his new vocation in quiet, but the other Jesuits saw a great need within the church for his administrative gifts. St. Ignatius gave him the title Commissionary for Spain. In this position, Borgia established multiple colleges and a novitiate. Eventually, he was put in charge of the Jesuits. Many see him as the second founder of the Jesuits because of the work he did to make the order more efficient and its ministry bigger. Under his guidance, the order expanded into Florida, Mexico, and Peru. Because of his holiness and effectiveness, many people consider him to be the greatest Jesuit superior right up there with St. Ignatius of Loyola. St. Francis Borgia was also a skilled composer and did a great deal to restore sacred music within the church. Music was one of his many passions, but it was dwarfed by his love of the Eucharist. Receiving communion was the single activity that gave him the most joy. St. Francis Borgia's faith allowed him to reject the fame and fortune that his notorious family had once sought. He understood the reality that was written in the bones of the once great empress that he knew. He saw the tenuous and temporary nature of this world and decided to focus on something much more substantial and permanent, heaven.